Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into what I believe to be our first ever celebrity whiskey review. Oh, wait, no, I lied. We reviewed Long Branch. Either which way, reviewing Traveler Whiskey from Buffalo Trace, their newest release. I'm a little excited, honestly. Haven't tried it yet. But before we get into that, please do me that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe helps us out a ton, and we seriously appreciate the support. But let's get into this. I have no idea what to expect. There's almost no information about what's in this blend. All I know is this is a Buffalo Trace product, uh, or a Sazerac product. Um, it says it's bottled by Buffalo Trace, so take that as you will. Uh, this is, I believe, what is it? Chris Stapleton, uh, country music. Love country music, uh, so I'm very pro that. Uh, but this is literally the only information as far as the blend we get on this bottle is it says it's blend number 40. Thank you for giving me useless information. I don't care what you guys like numbered the blend. Tell me what's in the blend. You know, ratios, percentages. I would like some more transparency, Buffalo Trace. Like, come on. Come on, say it's rack. Do your freaking jobs. Give me something to talk about. But either which way, this is a new blended whiskey that's blended at 90 proof from Buffalo Trace, and I believe it's around like 40 bucks MSRP. I know some people have been spending some crazy amounts of money on this bottle. Don't know why. You know, but again, your money, you do you, boo-boo. Uh, but let's get into this. First thoughts, initial trying of Traveler Whiskey, 90 proof, which honestly, 40 bucks for a... You know, celebrity whiskey, not bad. 90 proof, like it's not some low proof. It's from a reputable vendor. Let's figure this out. Wow, um, that's a celebrity whiskey for you folks. More rye forward than I was expecting. I don't know, I know it's a blended whiskey, so I, for some reason I was expecting like a bourbon-y, like a salt. Um, I get more of this like flat rye spice. Like it has that sweetness that you get from a bourbon. So there's definitely like, uh, there's a large percentage of this that's corn, but a lot of rye as well. There is that like grassy rye spiciness thing going on. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Um, Very subtle, light, easy nose. Like there's, it's sweet, has a little bit of that like spicy, grassy, herbal quality that I like in uh, usually rise, but it's very subtle because it's layered by like a lot of sweetness. Smidge of like a pink peppercorn and peaches, white grapes. Actually, yeah, I, I like white grapes. White grapes, great way to identify this. Or, no, it's not white grapes, green grapes, sorry, the green ones. The the ones that are very, like, subtle and, like, barely around, and they're kind of, like, sweet little juicy grapes that just kind of pop in your mouth. That's kind of what this is. It's, you know, it's it's light. It's, it's celebrity whiskey. I don't know what we expected here, folks. Honestly, I'm not totally hating the nose. This might be the best celebrity whiskey I've had. On the other hand, is it incredible? No, it's very subtle, it's very light, it's very easy, but you know, it's 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 a very rye forward bourbon. That's the way I would describe it. It's a very young, rye heavy whiskey blend. It's subtle, it's easy. It's, it's like if you mix, you know, maybe, oh man, this might be a great way to explain it. Uh, like if you mix Buffalo Trace and Sazerac together on the nose. But then you water down both of them because it's 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 very subtle. Also, did just come off of reviewing the new A batch of Elijah Craig, so you know my tasting notes might not be the best. But let's get into the palette and figure out is this worth forty bucks? Oh no, there's definitely, definitely, definitely some rye in this blend. Holy heck! Yeah, that is very rye forward. Yeah, the palate, it's a very, like, I get youthful rye notes. It's herbal, it's bright, very tea, tea heavy, a little bit of sweetness. Um, hmm. Man, I really, really wish we had the freaking, like, percentages and the blends. Like, I don't need an age statement, but I'd love to see 
how much of this percentage is, you know, rye from Buffalo Trace, how much is, you know, other things. Like there's there's nice there's a smidge of like some malty notes in there. There's some smidge of like some sweet corn and then there's a lot of youthful rye. A lot of youthful rye, like sharp herbal youthfulness. Like it's just it, it all kind of tastes like it a cash grab. I'm messing around a little bit, but yeah, it's a very bright, sharp, like young rye. That is the biggest way I could describe it. Young rye, little malt, a little bit of corn, sweeten it up. It tastes like a two-year-old craft whiskey to me. Like this is a, this tastes like not, if someone handed me to this glass and I had to explain my thoughts of it, it's good. It's nice. It's pleasant. Everything there, the bones, you're doing a great job. That being said, it's youthful, lackluster, needs more time. Um, I would put this as like a, hey, this is a craft whiskey that is far too young, but give them time to get their stock to the appropriate age. Or in this specific case, I guess what it actually is, is a cheap blend from a reputable distillery for a cash grab by a big well-known country artist. Um, I'm going to use Jordan's rating system. The one, two, three, four, five. Uh, do I think this is a one? Is this like a, this is trash drain port? No, it's like I said, it's the, what's there is fun. Uh, it's just not quite what I want to pay 40 bucks for. Like if this was like, I know this is splitting hairs, but this, if this was like 25, 30, I don't think I would be upset, but this isn't really great. Um, it's not horrible either. Uh, I think I'm a solid two. Uh, drink if it's for free, but I don't think I'm buying a bottle of this. Like even, even as like the content creator, whiskey reviewer, I don't see a place for this in my bar. There's nothing other than this video that this bottle would ever bring for my bar. I'm a two. I'm a try before you buy a drink if it's free type guy. Like you might like it. You might want to buy it. Me on the other hand, I'm going to drink it. If someone has it, it's, it's a nice, pleasant whiskey. Like it's, it's easy. It's approachable. Like someone pulls it out. I'm not going to dump it down the drain. I'm going to happily accept a drink of it. But if I had access to other whiskey, I'd probably drink that other whiskey too at the same time, but it's not bad. It's just not great. So that is a wrap for today's video. Please do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. That helps us out a ton. Let me know down below what you thought about this review. Also, let me know what you'd like to see me review or what content you'd like to see me make in the future. Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for everything are down there below. That's been a wrap for today's video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later. Yeah. It's just missing something.